threaded parts are used as fastenings and for transmitting power and motion. For example, the carriage on a lathe is moved by a lead screw turning in a nut. Thread cutting, a very important job, is often done on a lathe. Before starting any job, the lathe is cleaned and oiled. This is a typical job of thread cutting. An acme thread two inches in diameter and two threads per inch is to be cut for a feed screw used in the apron of a lathe. An acme thread is called for since the feed screw transmits power. The acme thread is a strong, broad-based thread with the sides inclined at 14 and one-half degrees. This table shows the dimensions of Acme threads. This job requires two threads per inch and the depth will be 260 thousandths. The operator compares the stock with the drawing, checks the length and outside diameter. Since the piece has been bored, and since the external thread must be concentric with the hole, an arbor is used to hold the piece between centers. The size is stamped on the larger end. The arbor is well lubricated inserted small end first into the piece and pressed tightly into place. A dog is placed on the arbor at the end opposite the thread to be cut. The tail center hole on the arbor must be well lubricated. The tail of the dog must be wedged against the driving side of the slot in the dog plate to prevent backlash. The thread is first roughed out with a stocking tool. Compared with the Acme thread gauge, this tool is ground to a 29 degree angle, but is not as wide. The stocking tool is set exactly to the center line and square to the work. Careful setting of the tool is necessary to ensure accurate threads. The gears are set to give two threads per inch and a slow speed is used. The carriage is moved to the right and the tool set with the point just touching the end of the work. The cross feed dial is set at zero and locked. The tool is backed off, moved to the right and set in three thousandths for a light cut. The threading lever engages the half nut with the lead screw. After making sure the reversing lever is in neutral, the motor is started. Raising the starting lever starts the spindle turning. Cutting oil is applied to the work and the cut is started by pressing the reversing lever down.
the end of the cut, the lathe is stopped and the pitch of the thread checked with a steel rule. It is one half inch or two threads per inch. The roughing cuts are now made. The tool is backed off and the spindle started again. The reversing lever thrown up returns the carriage to the starting point. When the tool is clear of the work, the carriage is stopped. The tool is fed in for the next cut. More cutting oil is applied and the cut started. The automatic stop may be used to stop the tool at the end of the cut. This is particularly important when there is a shoulder or a relieving groove. The tool is backed off, the carriage returned by power to the starting point since this is a short thread. On long threads, the carriage is returned by hand to save time. With the half nuts engaged to the lead screw, the threading dial worm must be engaged to the lead screw with the dial set at zero. At the end of the cut, the half nuts are disengaged and the carriage returned by hand. The tool is fed in five thousandths and the threading lever thrown in at any whole number on the threading dial to start the cut. The rough cuts with the stocking tool are continued until the full depth of two hundred sixty thousandths is reached. The narrow stocking tool leaves about ten thousandths on each side of the thread for the finishing cuts. The work is kept free of chips and well coated with cutting oil. The tool is fed in for the last stocking cut since the cross feed dial shows the full depth of two hundred sixty thousandths has been reached. The depth of the thread may also be checked with the thread micrometer. The stocking tool is removed and a forming tool selected for finishing the thread. The forming tool must always be checked with a gauge to make certain it will cut the exact shape required. The forming tool is set on center and clamped lightly in position. A fine single cut file is used to remove the burrs left by the stocking tool. Now using a setting gauge, the operator sets the tool to the work and clamps it tightly on dead center. The operator runs the tool to the right checks it with the center line and checks the setting again with the setting gauge. The threading lever is set and the carriage run to the left with the tool clear of the work.
The lathe is stopped and the forming tool is centered with the tool touching both sides of the thread. The cross speed dial is set at zero and locked. The tool is backed off and returned to the starting point of the thread. The tool is started and its position in the thread checked. Notice that no cut is taken. After checking the setting of the tool, it is returned to the starting position and set in for a two thousandths cut. The lathe is started and the first finishing cut taken. At the end of the cut, the operator examines the thread to make certain that the tool is leaving a smooth finish. Finishing cuts are taken until the tool nears the bottom of the thread. With the tool clear of the work, the speed of the lathe is increased and a fine single cut file is used to remove all burrs and to break the corners of the thread. The lathe is stopped The slot holding the dog is marked and the work is removed. The work is cleaned carefully to secure correct gauging. The thread gauge fits a little too tightly and another cut must be taken. The dog must be replaced in the marked slot to keep the same relative position between the thread being cut and the lead screw. On this final cut, the exact setting of the tool for the preceding cut is used. This gives a fine finish and removes the high spots caused by the spring of the tool and work. The gauge goes on with a smooth, easy fit. The thread is complete and the finished piece will work smoothly in its place in the lathe apron. In the cutting of any thread on a lathe, Check carefully the kind of the thread and its dimensions. Check the shape of the tool with a gauge. Always set the tool on center. Set the tool to the work with a setting gauge. Wedge the tail of the dog to prevent backlash. Start each cut with the proper setting of the thread dial indicator and check your finished work, for the good operator is known by the kind of job he turns in.